Okay, so since everybody's talking about the whole Grand Theft Auto 6 and what they want to see, but of course everybody's not asking the specific items that we want to see, you know, well mainly I want to see, is no overpowered enemy NPCs, no damn suicidal missions, as far as far as the main story or, or as the online part of Grand Theft Auto 6 and definitely no damn microtransaction for in-game currencies so ideally no more damn shark cards like let's just get rid of that but of course that's gonna be too much to ask from Rockstar Games and of course Take Two Interactive, seems how you know corporate greed is one hell of a drug in the business industry. So, yeah, there's that, and what else? Um, basically, I just want Grand Theft Auto 6 to be far better than Grand Theft Auto 5. And if we had yet managed to get a female protagonist. For the main story focus of Grand Theft Auto 6, I uh, would, like, would prefer a brunette, brown or black hair, protagonist, female protagonist. Um, body type would be roughly somewhere around uh, Gal Gadot or. Um, uh, Katie Seagull or Lady Gaga, just to name a few. And what else? The story too, just not. Well, just the, the story could be okay. It's just like, like, as far as like fan service wise, it could have like, like fan favorite uh, CJ from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Um make a like a nice little um, return cameo with his voice actor um, Young Melee reprising his role as said character and and of course him getting paid handsomely for his um, for his like you know voice acting and whatnot and Rockstar Games not doing him dirty along with everybody else that voice all the past Grand Theft Auto characters so yeah, there's that, and what else? Along with, I mean, it could have, like, like we could like see CJ, um, Nico Bellic. See, he's still alive and well, and um, who else? Um, uh, Claude from Grand Theft Auto Three. And um, uh, Tommy Versetti, like just like it would just be like a, like Grand Theft Auto Six could just be like the Avengers Endgame of the Grand Theft Auto series. Like all, all of the past Grand Theft Auto characters just show up, and then like Grand Theft Auto fans automatically recognize like all the the main characters from those past Grand Theft Auto games just show up. Like alive or dead, and then they just like they just magically like show up, and then just like you know, I was n this sheer nostalgia done right, of course, not out of corporate greed. And yeah, so everybody can have fun with that and just be like a nice little nostalgic high and crying with joy and whatnot. So and you can be able to, the player gets to hang out with these past Grand Theft Auto characters. Can't forget Luis Lopez, you know, him too. So then Tony Prince could, like, you know, have someone else to hang out with and other than just border in your fucking nightclubs. That's if we, they decide to transfer everything that's in Grand Theft Auto 5 to Grand Theft Auto 6 online, so... Yeah. <coughs>
so as hell the same had it focused for a bit, but yeah, just like I just needed to be like far more better than five and for it to be a functional working game and not be just like out of nowhere freezes and glitches because that shit is annoying as hell playing it on the PlayStation 4 if not playing it on the PlayStation 5 and my thoughts on the whole expanding and enhance for the PlayStation 5 of Grand Theft Auto 5 my thoughts on that is just meh I mean it's up to y'all guys if y'all want to play expanded and enhanced quotation marks because all you're basically doing is playing the same damn game you already know the fucking ending to and it's like nothing new has changed I mean unless they fucking damn change the like architecture like some of those buildings like the one up ahead you know like that's the construction on that building is finished along with the one up down the street so, yeah, I mean, they finished constructions and, like, you know, Grand Theft Auto 5 map you won't know, be so bland, you know, just like, you know, something new sticking out, and yeah, be all good, you know, but if it's just looks, it's, it's all the same here, and then it's like no point of playing expanding enhance quotation marks. So, yeah, and then, of course, you got, like, taking account with the whole chaotic mess of Grand Theft Auto 5 online heavily populated public session. So, that, that just like get rid of the the griefers and tryhards let alone KD warriors and of course those asshole uh, modders that just like, you know, want some like just want to be on some bitch shit. Bitch mate shit and just like don't want to fight you fair but just want to like hide somewhere where you can't fucking see them and like you could just be minding your business just like in a public session not barbering nobody you just to yourself there's always that one asshole that just want to like fuck up everybody's fun you know in the game so yeah and if you're gonna have Grand Theft Auto 6 on PC Rockstar Games I strongly advise you to up your security on the whole multi online multiplayer stuff because PC players are really getting sick and tired of like having to deal with hackers, modders, well asshole modders to be exact. They just want just like ruin enough experience for everyone. So yeah. I mean take two, if you gonna go after modders, at least go after the asshole modders that are just like want to ruin the game for everyone instead of just like you know helping everybody progress in the game and like make, like making the game fun for everyone to enjoy instead of just like you know leaving those asshole models to just do whatever the hell they want in the game so yeah and don't encourage the whole Griefers and tryhards that just ruin our fun experience for everyone because people are just like trying to like make some money in the game in which this game is just like Hey, we're gonna give you small portions for completing a mission. Like the fuck is this shit man like being paid minimum wage in this game when every damn thing in Grand Theft Auto 5 online is so damn expensive to the point where you just like Yo, I don't really do not feel like playing this game right now because it's like, it's no point in when you, like, your creation, your masterpiece of a creation is struggling to, like, you know, have money in his pocket, his or her pockets, so him or her can have, like, nice things to enjoy. Like, your original customizable mute protagonist is pretty much an extension of yourself, as I see it. Because, like, why dress your creation up like a hot mess, like some Fortnite character? And yes, I hate Fortnite to some extent because it's like, you know, it's just a, a overhyped kids game that, you know, annoying kids that are pretty much are the same annoying kids that are griefers and tryhards that just like to run in everybody's fun and experience with this game. And I just want to try to, like, enjoy this game without having to deal with bullshit. So, 
Yeah, it's just if if even if Grand Theft Auto Six does come out, I just like like I said, it just needs to be far better than what Grand Theft Auto Five is currently at. You don't have it. You don't need no like science fiction vehicles such as the fucking damn annoying ass asshole vehicle, a Price of Mark Two, or the Price of Mark One, the first one. And the deluxe, so you don't need that. You don't need a goddamn orbital cannon. And you don't need, you know, like, no. Like, the Kajabi tank, that can stay. You no, know, as long as, it, like, the players, players use that for good purposes. Like, to help, like, teamwork and shit. You know, like, for those missions that are just are very difficult to do without. So, yeah. Other than that, though, it's like... Like, as long as you don't use, uh, uh, like, the most good investment vehicle that could, like, provide you with plan protection, and you could complete a mission without getting shot at from every damn angle by overpowered enemy NPCs, which, for the love of God, Rockstar Games do not make the enemy NPCs overpowered in Grand Theft Auto 6. If anything, make them, like, the in, 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 enemy NPCs from Grand Theft Auto 4. Clumsy. Like, where you can easily maneuver around them and then just, like, get a good enough... Like, where you just have a good advantage versus not having a... having a disadvantage and you get, like, these, like, fucking damn overpowered enemy NPCs have the aim of Will Smith dead shot. While you sitting up there trying to like figure out how are you shooting me, and I'm always like not nowhere near you. I'm like very far from you, and you got like damn near, like a very, like unimaginable sniper aim. Like I could be like in the air, a thousand feet in the air. Somehow you could magically hit me. Like no. So, if anything, Rockstar Games just I don't know. But just don't be corporate greed with the shit when we take to interactive. So that's all I'm saying as professionally as I'm coming at this professionally and respectfully. So yeah, just just don't be on some corporate greed shit. Just treat your customers right, and everything everybody goes home happy.